body butter. Um, our company is all about non-GMO. We're not, we're not actually certified organic, but most of the ingredients are organic. Um, the reason why we're not certified is because it's more expensive to get a certification in Amazon. But our ingredients are non-GMO. Um, Talking about some of the ingredients in there, we talked a little bit about like the uh, in Europe. I don't know if you guys know this or not, yeah. but the skincare in Europe is much better than it is here. So, um, tell me about some of the differences between the ingredients of what you have and yeah. why it's different. Um, in Europe, there's a lot of people. They use eco-certified preservatives. Okay, so for cream, this is not a pure butter, which is pure oil. When you incorporate water with the oil, you have to preserve it. So we use an eco-certified preservative that is actually dry, non-GMO corn, so it's gluten-free. Um, and, and over in Europe, they don't allow GMOs. There's no GMOs in Europe. So I don't know what it is about the American you know, system, um, but it's, it's all about profit for the corporations, and our FDA lets a lot of really questionable ingredients into our oceans. So most oceans they buy, even if it's like flour or water, I think they should cut that out. No, it's fine. They I mean, have a lot of water. But it is really high-end stuff. It's going to be preserved with yeah. questionable ingredients. And that is accumulative. So, you know, we're putting these ta toxins on our skin all the time. So, from the time you shampoo your hair, when you start in the morning shampooing your hair, you moisturize your teeth over it, just taxing, taxing, taxing. And people in the U.S. are getting autoimmune, a lot of autoimmune diseases. And that includes eczema. Eczema is one of them. I'm an eczema sufferer. So, I formulated my creams for eczema. And I got a cream here that I came out with strictly for eczema, the honey oatmeal, which is unscented, but they, they all are beneficial for eczema. And the other thing, too, I wanted to add is, I don't know if you guys know this either, but between 33% and 46% of your body lotion, the ingredients that are in them will actually seep past the epidermis of your skin, which is the first layer of skin, you have seven layers, so it'll seep past those and it'll actually go into your body and your body will digest yep. the ingredients instead of just think, like, thinking like, oh, I'm going to put this on my skin. You're actually putting it into your body. So a lot of people that are on cleanses and things like that, trying to get healthy or lose weight, some of the ingredients that are in some of these things are actually going to hurt you rather than to help you. Our skin is 95% more absorbed than other stomachs. Our so yeah, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Everything you put on your skin is going into your body. And that's another thing too. Can you tell me a little bit about the deodorant? There are a lot of deodorants nowadays. They have aluminum in them, which is extremely bad for your body. They say that it causes Alzheimer's disease. It can cause different uh, deformations of your skin patterns. Aluminum is a terrible thing to absorb and alkaline to be that new body. So your is aluminum free. It's also triclosan free because a lot of natural deodorants will have the hidden ingredient triclosan, which is very dangerous. Not only is it cancer causing, it's linked to heart problems. So you're getting double you know, the danger. Uh, source is just natural. It's like it's like health food for your skin. That's what we call it. Health food for your skin. Um, it's kind of our slogan here. So you could eat our deodorant. It's organic. Organic shea butter, organic extra virgin yeah. coconut oil. I mean, you could eat it, but and it, and it would probably pull out toxins because it has like clay in it. Oh my gosh! So we're yeah. gonna do some demos. Stay tuned for the rest of the video to see what I got today. Thank you. 